Hello everyone, welcome to these Battlegrounds. I'm Bobby B, and today we'll be looking at the DID 112th Palm Hero Series, 2nd Armored Division, Hell on Wheels, Staff Sergeant Donald. And this is a, uh, a heck of a um, homage to uh, Fury and uh, Brad Pitt. We'll take a look at the figure, we'll go from there. Um, you guys know I love I love me some, some 112th military figures, and I'm Definitely excited for some World War II stuff, so let's take a look here. So, part of the Palm Hero series, this little flyer out, um, by DID, which I guess is Dragon Dragon and Dream Studios. I'm I'm not too familiar with them. I saw there was like a, a 12 inch figure, then I saw the 6 inch figure. I was like, I gotta get the 6 inch figure. Um, box is pretty good. Get some shots of the figure all around. Palm Hero is the line, DID is the company. On the back, you see all the stuff he comes with. It's a collectible. Some more stuff on the back. Different shot on the side, different shot on the top. And then inside, you got this uh, magnetic cover. You got this slip one. Some instructions back, just saying, you know, heat it before you heat and pop. Before you do anything, you got this foam insert. If I can get it out, and that's basically it. Clip all that back together real quick. Figure itself. You got your uh, World War II Sherman tank commander, uh, War Daddy, which we'll call him from now on. You got a plethora of gear. Got a single strap satchel. All the straps are adjustable and they they work like for real. So, um, pretty fun. I don't have a tweezer with me right now, so I'll be able to like slide it apart, then slide it all back together. But you guys know how these buckles work, so that's pretty pretty wild. You got the shoulder rig, something that uh, Fobbits or your toxic chain of command would wear nowadays. Um. It's like a like a nice like leather material almost. Um, looks great. Get him, we'll gear him up in a second. You got your tank helmet. It's got all the uh, all the straps to hook the goggles to underneath, and they got this little bit of elastic strap, so they're good to go. We'll hook that up real quick. And that just fits under all the straps like so. You have to just try to center it on. It looks great. You get a black revolver. Similar to what he had in the movie. Obviously the one in the movie had the, uh, the pinup girl in the handle. Um, not too much going on with that. Get your MP44 German rifle. And this strap is adjustable, and it's also made of that same like leather material, and it looks fantastic. And the magazine does drop out, and then there's a little little brass around in there. Very uh, very similar to what we see in that that movie Fury. You also get a belt. You guys know these belts kiss, kick my ass. If you guys remember my uh, Skull Sergeant video. Um, pretty simple. Feed it through the belt loops. Feed it through. You guys know how belt... I would assume you guys know how belts work. Then you get uh, three sets of hands. You get the leather worker glove, workman glove hands. Standard issued. Then we get left and a right skin tone. Trigger hands. And left and right gripping hands. You also get a uh, second armored patches. They look they got that like patch print on them. You get some staff sergeant rank, and you get a cigarette, one lone cigarette. Those are all get attached to the jacket, which I'll do later. 
Going into the figure himself, he looks fantastic. He's got a super high and tight. Let's look back. Looks good. He's got some scarring on the face. It looks awesome. He's got the brown jacket. The green fatigues underneath. There's like magnets in this to help it uh, clasp shut. And you can open it however you want to get the display that you're looking for. Articulation, the jacket does limit it a little bit. You get some double jointed elbows in there. Moving around. Doesn't really feel like there's much. There is a butterfly joint in there. Got some ab crunch. A little bit of waist pivot. You got a thigh cut. No uh, boot swivel, but there is ankle swivel. And then not too much ankle ankle up and down. Double jointed knees is going to get you about that much. This le this right leg's a little on the loose side. All right, legs nice and stiff. Going to get you about that much. So pretty uh pretty comfortable when it comes to posability. A lot of fun. We'll, get, we'll try to gear him up here a little bit. So I get this helmet on him. Damn! Look at those eyes. Let me see if I can angle this light for you guys. The detail is incredible. Pretty solid. Looking good. Get this uh, holster on him. It's a little bit of a, a snug fit, but once you get it lined up, it's pretty... Oh, probably helps if I have them in focus. It's, uh, it's pretty solid. It gets the job done. You have to like kind of adjust everything how you'd like it. So just keep that in mind. But he's looking fantastic. If I could get that freaking goggle straight. Obviously I'm not gonna do the belt because then I'll be sitting here struggling. You guys will all be laughing at me. Grab that cigarette though. There's a, a little slit in the hand for it. So you can get them posed up pretty good. Reenact a lot of the movie in that workman glove. I'll pop the hands off, get the trigger hands on. Hold that rifle. There's the rest of the gloves. And just pop on. Real simple. Grab the rifle. So the hands are really soft. And as soon as you get one in position, the other one would pop out. But he can hold it. And just take some uh, some of that finagling. You'll get one hand and then it'll pop off the wrist or the weapon will pop out of the hand. And he's just all over the place. But We got that going. Let's see if we can get him to, get him to rip it now. There you go. Just take some finagling. Not like you're going to be rolling around your backyard with this guy. At least you might be, but I don't know. I got a, uh, a Valiverse Tommy gun. Look at the, the hands just like super soft. As you guys can see. So if that's what you're into. I do not have the gridiron one, I just have the Valiverse one, so that off to make do. As for size comparisons, slide a war daddy back here. Try to get him to stand. In fair with other import figures, we got the GM Toys Reaper. Who never wants to stand for me. And we got the uh, the figure that started my import obsession, the uh, Skull Sergeant figure from, I can't even remember who he's from right now. So, 
Yeah, there he's a short side compared to the Reaper. G.I. Joe classified, we got General Hawk. Closest to uh, World War II that I could think of. And then, as always, we got the Action Force Condor and Spec Ops gear pack. So, he's about, I wouldn't say he's, he's maybe a hair on the short side. But, it all just depends on what your displays look like. And go from there. But there you have it. That's the DID 112th Palm Hero Series 2nd Armored Division Hell on Wheels Staff Sergeant Donald, a.k.a. War Daddy. Um, I'm surprised we haven't seen a 6-inch German soldiers by any company yet. You know, Hasbro could have did it with uh, the Indiana Jones line. They would have flown off the shelves. And we haven't seen them yet. Um... Maybe Valiverse will do a World War II line. I don't know. But in the meantime, we got the Palm Hero series, Staff Sergeant Donald. What'd you guys think? Are you guys gonna pick them up, skip out on them? This isn't your thing. Let me know in the comments below. Till next time, load up, grab your kits. See you on the battlegrounds.